Hey everybody, it's Mary and Warren with Exploratography. In today's video, we're going to discuss how photography can help your mental health. Stress, anxiety, depression, and trauma are just a tip of mental health issues that many of us experience in our day-to-day -day lives. Yeah, and if you've experienced any of these, you can relate on how exhausting it can be to get through a day. Yes, luckily there are ways proven by research to help with your mental health. The first is taking care of your overall physical health. Yeah. Another one is connecting with others. Try meditation and relaxation and finding a sense of purpose in life. Practice gratitude and relaxation. Taking up a hobby such as photography can check all of those boxes. Yeah. As an example, photography helps boost your mood, improves your mental health, and can provide a way to cope with everyday stresses. Yeah. Here's our disclaimer, though. That photography is not a cure-all for mental health issues. And we encourage you to seek guidance from a professional as you recognize your need for help. Photography and creating art in general can play an important role as part of your holistic approach to improve your mental health. So photography helps with your physical health. It gets you up and moving, even if it's just a short walk around your neighborhood, your block, your yard. Just getting up and moving is going to boost your mood a little bit. Yeah, and when you're out there finding those images, exercises your brain too. The entire process of shooting from choosing a subject matter to discovering new angles to manipulating light requires absolute focus. Yeah, so if you think about taking an image, the very process of observing by nature is a meditative task that draws you into a peaceful state and can help distract you from your thoughts. So when you think about um, photography and you're out taking an image, you're thinking in your head about what your settings are going to be, what your composition is going to be. Again, kind of pushing those negative thoughts out of the way. Um, being an overthinker, I can attest to when I get that way, going out and photography does kind of calm those thoughts down, makes things a little clearer. So that's something that helps me. Um, another thing is challenges can give you a goal and a sense of accomplishment. Yeah, they really can. Photography challenges us by learning new techniques, exploring new places to photograph, and creating that bucket list of shots, and then going out there and marking them off one at a time. Yes. Getting involved in a photo community also helps battle loneliness by allowing us to connect with other people that have com common interests. So as far as photography communities, you can find... Um, in-person local photography communities, or there are bigger online photography communities. So I would recommend going up on meetup.com um, in your area and just typing in photography and it will show you if there's any local in-person meetups. If you go on Facebook, you can search your town followed by photography and see if there's any online photography community. Sometimes they will host in-person events. Sometimes it'll just be online. So find a community that you're comfortable with we welcome you to check out our Facebook community group. Um, you'll find it under Exploratography, a community of photographers, but we will link in the description below as well. Yeah, awesome. So photography can connect you with nature. Getting out there in nature has many benefits to your psychological well-being. Nature is shown to uplift mood as it decreases the stress hormone cortisol, reducing the overall stress in your body. And being outside of nature can help improve creative abilities. Nature helps regulate emotions and improves memory. Being outside experience the wonders of the world helps foster within us the desire to help protect it as well. So that just reminds me of Ansel Adams and the way his photography kind of helped um, start the national park movement and helped Absolutely. protect the national parks. But um, another thing I wanted to comment on is just that last weekend we were out with our photo group shooting the Milky Way and just being outside under um, the sky full of stars in nature, surrounded by other people who really enjoyed the, the same hobby. It was just a beautiful night. It was um, relaxing. It centered myself. And it was a perfect way to end, end the week. Yeah, it was. So we hope this video helps shed some light on how photography can help your mental health. Yeah, and if we realize that there are many people struggling with mental health issues, and photography isn't the fix in itself, but we hope you, it encourages you to get out with your camera. And if this helps your mental health even just a little bit, that really makes us happy. If you or someone you know is in immediate danger, please call 911 or go to the nearest emergency room. Also, there's mental health resources available at mentalhealth.gov. 
Down in the description below, we're going to put the phone number to the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. And um, please comment below. Uh, please comment below if there's ways that photography or any of your uh, hobbies has helped your mental health. We'd love yeah. to hear your stories. So if you like this video, please comment below. Let us know. If you aren't already following us, please subscribe so you can follow along with our adventures. Remember to take care of yourself and those around you. Until next time, get out there and explore. Create and, and do, do good. good. Bye. Bye, guys.